Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here with me another currently inked video and I have 10 pens currently inked up here. So what I'll do is I'll just go through these briefly one by one. We'll then go through these in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample of each of these pens. So from left to right we have the right here and this is the Scribo 2 in Noble Green. We have the right here Scribo 2 in Cardinal Red. We have a right here Scribo 2 in the new Bologna Blue. We have a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. A Classic Pens LB5 in the Calsecchi. A Monte Grappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. A Visconti Caput Mundi, a Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue, a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog, and an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild Side. So these are the pens I have currently inked up for this week, and this is the Scribo 2, and you can see there the right here, well, actually, the Scribo logo and you can see here this is actually a really nice pen it's a pen that that i do write with a lot and partly because of the writing experience these have the omas om81 extra flexibile nibs on these but you can also see the lovely chatoyance going on here with this pen now this is resin this is not a celluloid but I do still like this material a lot and I also like the size of this pen. I really think it's actually the ideal size. So it comes with a number six size and this is a 14 karat gold and it's a flex nib and you can see there that it is a really nice nib. So this is the extra flexibile nibs and this is a medium nib that I have here on this pen but the size of my hand you can see that this is a really nice pen and I love this chatoyance that's going on here and you can see it in both the section and the body and likewise the cap as well and it's a piston filling pen as well so this is a pen I have inked up a lot because I love the writing experience on this pen it really is a pen and I've been talking to a number of friends recently and I've been reevaluating really what pens I have in my collection because I've sold a number uh, in July this year and I decided that really it's down to the writing experience so although this may not be the most stunning material uh, compared to some of my other pens the writing experience is absolutely key so for me that is a pen that I absolutely love writing with and it's because of the 14 karat gold flex nib uh, it's a medium nib and it just it has this bounce to it uh, a little bit of pencil feedback and I never liked pencil feedback before but I am getting used to that now and I do like that in these pens the other pen that I have inked up is again it's another right here Scribo 2 and it's a cardinal red version now it's actually quite interesting because I don't like this material as much as the noble green but everyone that that has tried this pen and looked at this pen have actually said to me they prefer this red over the green and i do remember a number of retailers saying in the past that pens that are green pens do not sell as well as red pens so uh, i guess that is really part of the thing um so maybe a lot of people don't like green pens personally i do but uh, i do like this red as well and this is again this is the cardinal red version and again this is a right here exclusive and i believe they're almost sold out probably sold out by the time this video airs and again i'm a sucker for these 14 carat medium flex nibs so I have that there and you can see it's a medium nib with an ebonite feed but I just love the size of these pens and I love the overall writing experience and I'm a person that writes with my pens and I try to write a lot with them so 
the writing experience for me is key. I do have a lot of really nice looking pens in my collection, but I am a user with a collection. So for me, although I love some of these lovely materials here that we'll get to in a little bit, the writing experience is what keeps me coming back to writing with the pens. And then we have this new Scribo 3, and this is the Bologna Blue. And this really is a lovely blue resin. Uh, again, it's not celluloid. These are all resins. So all of the Scribos, whether or not they are right here pens, uh, exclusives, or actually the Scribo fills, they are all resin pens. But you can see this, this pen really is a stunning pen. And again, I am a little bit of a stickler. I've gone with, guess what, a 14 karat gold medium nib. But I love how these write. Uh, I have tried the, I think it was the 18 karat gold fine nibs. Um, a friend has uh, some of those. And I just wasn't as a fan with those. And uh, I tried the 14 karat gold extra fine nib. And... Although it was a nice nib, I again I just it was just one of these nibs that just I would prefer the medium nib um, if I was brutally honest. And then we have the stunning classic pens LM1, and this is a pen that I do still love a lot in my collection. Uh, I have had a number of people ask me if I would ever sell this or even the LB5, and it, it's a difficult difficult. Um, question to answer uh, at this moment in time I would not sell these but yeah, who knows maybe over time I will if I find a pen that is, is better uh, or fits better in my collection or I like writing with more so this has an 18 karat gold and it's a medium nib and you can see it there and this is a cartridge converter but again the size of my hands it's the weight as well is actually quite nice but this has this diffusion bonded acrylic that you can see there which is basically acrylic pressed together until it sort of fuses together and then we have again it's a bigger sibling and this is the classic pens lb5 in the kauseki or the metal ore and again this material is really really nice but this is effectively made by Sailor. It's a Sailor King of Pen, slightly longer, about a half a centimeter longer. But this is a beautiful pen, and I like oversized pens, and this is oversized. It's quite girthy, and it has a lovely number eight size King of Pen nib on there from Sailor, because it is a Sailor nib. And that is a really, really nice size and again it's a cartridge converter now this is a medium nib so it writes more like a fine nib when i say a medium nib writing like a fine nib it's a medium asian nib or Jap japanese nib so any asian nibs will tend to write one nib width finer so medium nib will write like a fine western fine nib but again it's, it's a really nice writer and i'd love to pick up more of those and then we have the lovely Montegrappa. And this is the only Montegrappa that I currently have in my collection. I would like more, um, but we will, we will have to see whether or not I do buy any more. Uh, but this is really stunning. This is the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. Unfortunately, this is long sold out. This was a Goulet Pens exclusive. And uh, it sold out, I believe, in February or March uh, 2019. You can see there, uh, size of the hand. It's actually a nice pen. It's a piston filling pen. And it, it just feels very well balanced. And that material there is absolutely stunning. Uh, and I do love stacked celluloids. Uh, so this, for me, is really, really good. So that's another pen that I have inked up this week that I've been writing with. And 
we also have the Visconti, and this is a Homo sapiens, and this is the Caput Mundi. So this was a 2016 edition, limited edition, and uh, there were only 50 of these made. And this is number 7 of 50. So I'm actually really lucky to, to pick this one up when I did. It has this bronze trim uh, that you can see here. It's a demonstrator, but it's a like, sort of semi-opaque demonstrator, so you can see the ink, but not that well. And again, Homo sapiens are really my ideal size in pen. These just really are really good size pens and weight as well. So this has a Visconti 23 cap palladium nib and it's a medium nib, uh, which actually, as like most Viscontis, will write. <laughs> if, if you have an Asian nib that is a medium nib and it writes like a Western fine, a Visconti medium nib will write more like a broad so uh, at the end of the day <laughs> I do like the Viscontis because I have been liking more of the broader nibs lately so so for me that's actually quite nice and then I have a Pelican M805 and this is the vibrant blue and you see there this material is really really captivating it's a cracked ice effect it's semi translucent and with all m 800s or M805s, it's a piston filling pen and it has a number six size 18 karat gold nib. And I have a broad nib on this and I have a broad nib on all of my uh, pens uh, from Pelican because I do like how the Pelicans write. So for me, again, this is a solid writer. So I've had that inked up and been writing with that and also my lovely Visconti Homo Sapiens and this is the London Fog and you can see here this material is quite nice and it's a ribbon pen so it's a demonstrator you can see that that barrel is full up of ink at the moment but you can also see the ribbons there hopefully um, it's a little bit more muted when when you have ink filling the pen but it's a beautiful pen and it has a hook safe lock mechanism uh, as all the Visconti Homo sapiens do and it's a power vac filler same with the uh, cap at Mundi there and the nib on here is a 23 cap palladium nib and this is a fine nib but again this writes very very nicely so this is actually my at the moment my uh, workhorse writing pen because it is a really good pen great for for taking meeting notes uh, the nib is quite wet but it's not too wet that it creates problems in say a notebook and then we have the Armando Simone Club and this is the Bologna extra wild side and this is again a really nice pen I do like the size of these pens and I do like the weight of these. These are not for everybody. They are oversized pens for sure. And they do weigh quite a bit as well. But uh, I do love these. And I love how they write. They write very wet and very broad. So these are only come in one nib width. And uh, these are really a medium. But they tend to write more like a broad. It's an 18 karat gold Magic Flex nib. Uh, with an ebonite feed there but this is really good and it comes with a pneumatic uh, filling system as well but this again is a pen I have a lot of Bologna extras and uh, this I do write I do write a lot with all of them really but that one I have had inked up this week so that's the pens I have currently inked up I think let's go into a writing sample of each of these now so the first pen that I have inked up this week will do an ink swatch so we can see the color of the ink and you'll see here that this is quite a wet nib but this really is beautiful so this is the right here Scribo 2 in the Noble Green and it is a 
14 carat gold and it's a medium nib so we'll do a medium 14 carat gold we'll just about fit that in there and the ink in here today is Akamon and it's a Dutch Masters and it's Van Hoyersum's Sap Gone but that is a beautiful ink and I pretty much have that ink exclusively inked up in that pen because it just writes really well it pairs really well so this is the next pen again this is another Scribo and you can see here now I have had this inked up with a number of different red inks but this one is a little bit more drier and a little bit more darker so this is the right here and it's a Scribo 2 and it's the Cardinal Red and again it's a medium and it's a 14 carat gold nib and then the ink in here is a little bit hard to start there Pelican Edelstein I know this is actually running low on ink and this is Ruby but this is not the new 2019 Ruby this is the original Ruby that Pelican uh, did in their Edelstein ink range the next pen again another Scribo and this is a new one so I need to break this nib in a little bit more and I know that there's a lot of people that will say you don't break nibs in but with these 14 count gold nibs you do and uh, they will start flexing more and having more bounce the more you write and the more pressure that you apply so this one is again a right here but it is a Scribo 3 and it's the Bologna blue and it's a medium and it's a 14 carat gold nib and the ink in here is Robert Oster Oster and it's blue water ice you can see this is actually quite a wet writer already but uh, it doesn't quite flex as much as the other two pens at the moment but it will do over time the more I start writing with it the next pen is this classic pens LM1 and this is a wet nib as well and this is a bock nib an 18 count gold bock nib so it's a classic pens and it's the LM1 in the flame red and it is a medium 18 cap gold nib and the ink in here is Blackstone and it's Yuluru red and that's more of a darker red uh, darker than the Pelican Edelstein Ruby that you can see there and then we have the classic pens LB5 now this is the sailor nib so although this is a medium nib it writes a little bit more like a, a fine nib but it's still quite wet so it's a classic pens LB5 Kawasaki and it is a medium and it's a 21 cat gold nib because it's a sailor nib 
and Sailor do 21 karat gold for some reason. Uh, I think they are the only company that actually do 21 karat gold. I have not seen any other company doing 21 karat gold nibs. And then the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku and it's Sakushi. But that's a lovely brown ink that I like. And I tend to pair that up in this pen a lot. And we have the stunning Monty Grappa Shiny Lines Dove. So, and this, you can see already, it's a very wet pen. It's a medium nib. And it doesn't disappoint. So, this is a Monty Grappa Extra 1930 shiny lines dove and it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib just fit that on there and then the ink in here is diamine Oh, grey. And then we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens. And although it's a medium nib, it writes a little bit more on the broader side, and it's a very, very wet nib. Fire hose nib, really. But that's how I like my Viscontis. So this is a Visconti Homo Sapiens and it's the Caput Mundi and it is a medium and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Akamon Dutch Masters and it's Steenrude Van Vermeer and just when you think it can't actually get a, a darker red here in this current ink and I have one but that is a, a lovely dark red ink and then we have the Pelican M805 and this, as I mentioned, is a broad nib, and this is very wet. And I do love how these Pelican M800s or M805s write. So this is a Pelican M805, and it's the vibrant blue, and it's a medium 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku and it's Aza Geo. And that is actually becoming one of my favourite blue inks in this pen combination because that writes very wet, makes the nib feel a little bit smoother so the nib glides across the page a little bit more. And then we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. And I'll do an ink swatch here. Now this is a fine nib and I would say that it writes more like a fine nib. But some people may actually say that it writes more like a medium nib. So it's the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog and it's a, uh, it's a fine nib almost said medium then uh, and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku Con Pecky 
Uh, you can see there actually that's a few uh, Pilot Oshizuku inks I have there. And then the last pen is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra. So, now these are medium nibs, but just like Visconti, they tend to write one nib width wider because they write very wet. So this really writes as a medium, writes more like a broad. So this is an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild Side. And it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. You can just see there, just about fit on. And then the ink in here is Akamon. And if you don't know the names, it's actually uh, 20 uh, 25, actually, not 23. And it's Denaweg Grawn. But again, that's a very nice dark green, a bit of a muted green, but it's a, it's a green that I like a lot. So I think let's uh, just run through these uh, ink uh, combinations one more time in the pens. We have a right here, Scribo 2, uh, in a noble green. And this has a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Akamon Dutch Masters Van Hoysen Sapgron. We have a right here, Scribo 2, in cardinal red, with a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Ruby. We have our right here, Scribo 3, in the Bologna Blue, in a medium 14 karat gold nib, inked up with Robert Oster, Blue Water Ice. We have a Classic Pens LM1, and this is the Flame Red, in a medium 18 karat gold nib, inked up with Blackstone, Yuluru Red. We have a Classic Pens LB5 Kaoseki, in a medium 21 karat gold nib, inked up with Pilot Iwashizuku, Sukushi. We have a Monte Grappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove, and this is a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi, and this is a medium 23 karat Palladium nib inked up with Akamon Dutch Masters Steenroot Van Vermeer. We have a Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Awashizuku as a Geo. We have a Visconti Hemis Sapiens London Fog in a fine 23 karat Palladium nib inked up with Pilot Awashizuku Compeki. And then lastly, we have the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Akamon 25 and Denoeg Gron. So there you have it. That's my currently inked for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.